In this video, we're going to look at another function in spreadsheets called VLOOKUP. Now, in a previous video, we looked at the match and the index formula. We wrote these formulas to pull in the different car characteristics from this spreadsheet here. And what you would do if you were filling this out, this is a used car sales spreadsheet for customers. You would type in the customer name here, email, etc. Now what we're going to do with the lookup, I've actually created a Google form to record the information. So I'm going to open up this Google form and in here we're going to put the customer name, my email address and the car that I want to choose, let's choose the Kia Karans and then we submit. So that's recorded the customer information and that has gone into my customer information row here. Now what we want to do, we want to pull in this information from the cars spreadsheet here. Now like I said in the previous video, we looked at match and index to do that. But I'm going to do it with another function called VLOOKUP. So we want to pull in the year from the cars sheet here. So let's go back to here and we're going to start typing in the formula. So equals VLOOKUP brackets. Now it's asking for the search key. Now the search key is the Fiat Panda. And we're going to do a comma. So it's D2. And then it's asking for the range. Now with VLOOKUP, you need to specify, unlike match and index, you need to specify a full range of what you want to search for. So in cars, the range will be from A all the way up to E here. All right. And then we're going to do a comma. Then it's asking for the index. Now the index is the number of the column. So A is one, B is two, okay? But if our range was from B to E, then one would be column B, okay? And I'll explain that further later. So we're gonna say we want column A. So we're gonna put a one in there and we're gonna leave the rest of it, okay? And then just put the bracket in. Now that's gonna give us an error. Let's have a look and see what that error. Did not find the value Fiat Panda in VLOOKUP evaluation. Now, there is a reason for that. And I've done this on purpose just to show how temperamental VLOOKUP can actually be unless you know what you're actually doing. So let's look at the formula again. Okay, so let's go into here. It's looking search key. And it says the search key is the value to search for. So that's what we want. Then let's look at the range, okay? So we highlighted the range here. Now the range to consider for the search. The first column in the range is searched for. There is our problem. There is our mistake, okay? So the range that I used was A to E. So it's gonna look in column A for Fiat Panda, and that's obviously wrong. Now, originally when I did this, this column here was at the beginning. So let's now move that. We're gonna say, we're gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna insert a column to the left and then paste that in. Okay, so now we've got our Fiat Panda and everything in the right order. So our range is still A to E. So now in here, what we can look at is change this. Now, because we changed our column, it's changed the formula as well. So let's change that back to A, enter, and then you can see it's now put the Fiat Panda in, which is correct, but we don't want column one now. We want column two. So let's go back and change that now to two, return. And there you can see it's pulled in 2010. Now, as I mentioned earlier, let me put a couple of dud columns in here. Okay, so you may have some other information in here. Now, what we're looking at is when we do our formula, VLOOKUP, our range is now C to G, but the column is not one, two, three, four. It's column two within that range. Because it's C to G, it's one, two. That's a mistake a lot of people make. So let's go back to our formula. As you can see, the spreadsheet has adjusted this automatically. So let's delete those columns now and get back to the way it was. And now if we go back to our formula, you can see it's changed from A to E. Now what we want to do is copy this across so we're actually getting the price, color and mileage in as well. 
But before we do so, if we just copy it over, then what it's going to do is going to take E2. So it's looking for this value and we want it to stay with this value. All right, so let's delete that. And you can also see it's changed the range from B, from A to B and E to F. Okay, so that's not what we want. In order to prevent that, we put a dollar in front of the D, a dollar in front of the A, and a dollar in front of the E. Now return, and now what we can do is we can copy this across. Okay, it's put 2010 in these, so all we need to do is change that to column three, this to column four, and this to column five within our range, and there we've got our numbers that have come straight through. Now, because this is a Google Form, so if I go back to my Google Form and submit, submit another response, I'm gonna put another name in here. Let's choose a car, let's say the Sorento, and then submit. Let's go back to my, and you can see the Sorento has come in here, but what's happened is these are not populating. There is an add-on that will actually do this for you, which is called Copy Down. But I would like to show you a different method, which I now think is actually better um, when you're using VLOOKUP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our first formula. In front, we're gonna type array formula, then bracket, and then after the D, we're gonna type in colon D. So that's gonna take the whole column of column D, all right? And then we can press return. Now you can see here, it's, it's filled everything in as we wanted. Now we can copy these over, but before we do so, we need to put a dollar in front of the D. And now we can copy these across and then change this to a three, four, and then five. Now we have a problem here that we've got all these NAs showing. Now, there's two things we can do here. We can either delete all of these columns, like so, and then delete them, and then we can't see them, and then when we enter a new person, so let's put in John Smith, and let's say the Kia Sorento again, and then let's go back, and you can see it's added it, so it's much, much tidier. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that, all right? What you could do, let's just add some lines. Now, if we don't want these to appear, we could just add an extra part of the formula. So, if there's an error, we can say if error. So, if there's an error with that formula, then what we want to do is not do anything. So, we want it to be blank. So, we can just add that, and there you can see, if we put that if error in, it's going to make sure that that doesn't appear. So all we need to do is just add that to these as well. And there we have it. But again, like I say, you could tidy things up by just deleting those rows. But depending on who is actually using this spreadsheet, you may find that this is actually an, a tidier way of doing it by putting that error in. Okay, so we've looked at VLOOKUP, we've looked at array formula in actually to pull things down. And we've looked at if error. So three different functions that we've used in this video. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.